Hello again! It's another stream slash video of Star Explorers. Well, actually, this is the first time I've done this one. It's a dungeon crawler in outer space. But yeah, this is made by one person over the course of ten or so years. And it's a fairly simple game. With various features. As you explore space. Alright, let's go with uh, normal difficulty. Can't be too easy here. The game is still uh, has quite a few a lot of bugs. But it was in the early access, then the guy thought the game was good enough for a while because he didn't get any feedback. And well, people found some problems with it. It's not a widely well known game, but it's uh, not No Man's Sky. A far less expensive version. So let's start a new game. And start a new game. You all know me as Magma, or Mag for short. Okay? We spell okay with an A-Y, because then we know it's okay after pressing the enter key. And we get nice little quotes as we load our game. We got an urgent message, but first, we are learning about our mothership. Our mothership is out there. Why it doesn't come with me? I don't know. But let's get rid of this tutorial for a second and read our message from Commander Makai. We survived a first destruction. And the mothership is called the Altier. In section sector for the three. And here we can trade, get quest, and fuel our mothership. But right now they're kind of low on fuel. And I, well, am not in a great position either. What do you mean I'm not in a great position? Well, I gotta explore the universe, basically. But basically, you can look inside my ship here. I press an E, and you see it's a fairly simple ship. With storage, and a hangar bay to go outside and explore. But there's no planets right now. Since we are in our first person person view, we don't have much. We have a basic space suit and a laser pistol. Not much really. And 204 quants. That's our money. And as you see from our top, well, our suit condition is two things. It's the uh, condition itself and the amount of a uh, little bit of jet boost you get by jumping. And of course, air tank is always important, but that can be fairly easily restored. So by pressing right on various stars, I can get information about them. How many plants they may have, where they are in the sector, and how much fuel it takes for me to get there. Unfortunately, since our mothership went so far away, I'm already going to lose 30 of my precious fuel. The population of one, about one billion people. So let's go ahead and go to it and get our quest. And engage them more engines. If you hear a little bubbling in the background, I apologize. My foot 
is in a foot slot because it hurts. Another message. It is Professor Ignatz. Too long didn't read. You want to get Axnium crystals. That is your future. And you want to find planets between 200 and 400 K. That's our temperature that our spacesuit can withstand. Plus, we need to find particular planets with the uh, well, crystals on. He suggests going to Sector 21. And I assume you're done reading because I am done reading. And did I mention trade? Well, you want to trade along the way, or some random machitas. That's fuel you can buy for your ship. You got oxygen tanks, pistol ammo, sonic ammo. We'll talk about that later. Health kits, a very expensive star chart upgrade, and upgrades for our space. Including blueprints, which we can use to craft. Well, crafting, crafting that outside. Let me get a few things just in case here, because we won't be going back to the mothership for a while. And purchase all that ammo, all that oxygen, and all that fuel. Well, we can buy all of it, of course. Do whatever amount I can get. And of course, we can use these items to refuel our air spaceship and our air tanks, which is full right now. And our pistol, which has extremely limited ammo. That's our pistol, by the way. It's not much. We can also get a later on a laser rifle, a rocket launcher, and you saw ammo for that sonic uh, cannon. Perhaps a few other things. And we have quest, which will give us money. Possibly items. And possibly aliens. Yes, the universe has some aliens, and that a lot of them are probably not happy to see me around. They see me as a weirdo. Which I do not blame them. So now we're looking at our ship. There's a hypergiant nearby. That's probably not going to be good for uh, finding resources. Remember, the bigger and brighter the star, the closer it is to you. And as I go around, you see there's a lot of stars in the universe. I can also press spacebar, go into combat mode, and shoot lasers, which are ironically uh, unlimited. They'll destroy asteroids and damage and destroy UFOs. But, like I said, the meat of this game is exploration. So what's the guy to do? Well, let's find something in Sector 21. They said preferably a red dwarf or standard star would be the best. Hopefully with a lot of plants nearby. That's a white dwarf. And it's still possible to find uh, explorable planets on non-standard uh, stars. 
but you might have to upgrade your spacesuit. And that's a brown dwarf. Nobody likes a brown dwarf. It's cold. So let's see if we can find a nearby star. Because 128 is a little silly. And that's a little bit far to go there. Seven planets versus eight planets. Alright, let's go ahead and walk to the star. And get to the meat of this game. Later on, we'll get to the cheese and the buns. Actually, this is more like the buns. This is our red giant. Star system successfully approached. Also, apparently there's a UFO because I am under attack. And you see that fast moving thing? It is causing trouble. I honestly did not expect to meet a uh, UFO this soon. Off of destroy asteroids. Ship's a little damaged, but we're fine. It's a tough ship. Now let's get our combat boot and get some information on some of these planets. And this also maps the planets on your star chart. Because now that we're in sector 23, we can check out the stars and the planets within those stars. Well, at least the ones we've done so far, and we can also net edit the name of these planets and add personal notes. Very immersive game. Could take you centuries to beat it, but that's not the point right now. What is let's find a planet to land on. That's a little bit too hot. This would be the rather unforgiving there. I find it easier to navigate the ship in combat mode for some reason. Hmm. Close, but nobody explores gas giants because that's not solid. We need solidness. Oh, what I wanted to do. This game is a little stubborn sometimes. Just controls. Just go towards the planet to. Solar Get solar engines. Solar engines are free though. They don't take any of your fuel. And it looks like I slammed into that plant. Warning. Planet contains service hazards. Proceed with caution. Most planets do contain surface hazards. That's dangerous. And I can press. Let's see. I'm having problems right now. Like I said, game sometimes does stuff. And I can only save in one save file at, to my name. Okay. And it's also auto saving. So no cheating. I can press also press O to get the orbital uh, overlay there. And it's a planet that's highlighted in yellow, so it's kind of a dangerous one. So 
So for now, we'll go to it. See what happens. Hopefully, I won't be burned into cinder dust or something. And, of course, our inspirational quotes in the corner as we generate terrain, trees, and possibly other things. Because, well, there's rocks. Everybody loves rocks. And the flora and the fauna, if you can believe it. And possibly aliens. 